In this video, I'm going to show that the sine of alpha plus the sine of beta is equal to 2 times the sine of alpha plus beta on 2 times the cosine of alpha minus beta on 2. And we're going to do this making note of two of our compound angle formulas, so the formula for sine of a plus b and the formula for sine of a minus b, and also a kind of simple rearranging of alpha and beta with alpha being equal to alpha plus beta on 2 plus alpha minus beta on 2 and beta being equal to alpha plus beta on 2 minus alpha minus beta on 2. And these items that we're going to make use of come from a prior video where we worked through a very similar question. Instead of sine alpha plus sine beta, it was sine alpha minus sine beta. But the results and techniques that we used in that video will apply equally here. So what I might do is I might give you an opportunity to pause this video so that if you haven't already you can go and look at the prior video, see what I did there to work out sine alpha minus sine beta and then see if you can use those same techniques to then work out sine alpha plus sine beta. Then we'll come back and I'll work through the result and see whether you got to the same place that I did. So um, go forth, have a go and see uh, whether you can work it out. Alright, so hopefully you worked that out, but in case you didn't, I'll work through it now. So the basic idea is we're going to rewrite sine of alpha to be equal to the sine of this expanded form of alpha. So we'll have sine alpha plus beta on 2 plus alpha minus beta on 2. And then we use our first compound angle formula, thinking of alpha plus beta on 2 as our capital A, and alpha minus beta on 2 as our capital B so that whenever we see capital A, we put alpha plus beta on 2, and whenever we see capital B, we put alpha minus beta on 2 and see what we get. So here we'll get sine of alpha plus beta on 2 times the cosine of alpha minus beta on 2 plus the cosine of alpha plus beta on 2 times the sine of alpha minus beta on 2 and that's our um, expanded form of sine alpha. Now we'll do the same for sine beta so that we can then add them up. So sine of beta would be equal to the sine of alpha plus beta on 2 minus alpha minus beta on 2 and then same idea we think of alpha plus beta on 2 as A and alpha minus beta on 2 is b, and we use our second compound angle formula to say that therefore must be equal to the sine of alpha plus beta on 2 times the cosine of alpha minus beta on 2 uh, minus the cosine of alpha plus beta on 2 times the sine of alpha minus beta on 2 and now therefore we can think of sine alpha plus sine oh, plus the sine of beta as simply adding up these two long form results and we can already see that um, in both sine alpha and sine beta we have this sine alpha plus beta on 2 cosine alpha minus beta on 2 so we've got two of those and we've got a cos alpha plus beta on 2 sine alpha minus beta on 2 minus the same thing. So these two will cancel and we just get left with 2 of the sine alpha plus beta on 2 cosine alpha minus beta on 2. And we see that that is as required. That is what we were trying to show. Panic boom! So hopefully you got there by looking at the prior video and using the same techniques, but if you didn't, hopefully now that you've um, watched what I've done, it all makes sense and it's something you could do if you had to. So yeah, hopefully that's been helpful and uh, tick boom. Thinking a lot today.